so we just got to a spot. It's really late. Um, we're going to be moving fast on this, but we're going to go grab a trail camera right now. We're not going to check it. We're just going to go where we know bucks have been bedding. Um, I spooked some. I spooked two really nice bucks out of here last year, and I, I don't think they got shot because I don't think anybody was getting to where I was going, um, which is just an overlooked spot. But there are a bunch of cars here today, and so we'll see what happens. Um, you know, good luck to everybody out there, but we're gonna go try to get them, so. Um, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. It's an amazing day. The forecast is great to hunt. Uh, the pressure is up, and it's a cold front just came through. It's the second day of the cold front, um, but the pressure is better today. Uh, and uh, yeah, we just rushed from work, so we're gonna get after it right now and uh, hopefully uh, have a buck in the crowd soon. So, we just got settled into it. A stand. I wouldn't call it a stand, but we're in this. I think it's a white oak. Sunday, October 6th, a little bit of a breezy night, and uh, hoping to end the weekend on a good note. Well, I got some cider day from Spicer's Orchard. That stuff is absolutely delicious, and uh, yeah, that's that. That's the end of the, that's this Sunday, and hopefully I'll have a deer on the ground by the end of the night. Well, uh, turn down to <clears throat> Double side light. <laughs> Trying to. Right there. Down. Yeah, right there either. Hell yeah. Boy. 
Oh, there's your arrow. Look how it landed in the tree. Oh yeah, right here. Oh, that's sweet. <coughs> Watch out the rage. Yeah. Watch out the rage strike. That's a nice ball, Donnie. Oh man, rigor mortis already set in this fucker. Look at that. That's a lung fucking hanging out. These thick bases, though. Those like it's. Okay, it's opening day of uh, Michigan archery, and uh, didn't take long to put one down. We had, uh, I, I look, I was sitting up there and looked over, and I didn't no idea where he came from. Just he was already there. Waited for him to turn uh, broadside. Got a good shot on him. Made it probably mm, 30 yards. Got him with a black eagle deep impact arrow. And uh, big thanks to Sunrise Archery for uh, getting my bow all tuned up right before this. Got it just in time. Um, then we had, I waited up in the stand and had a few more bucks come in and laid down a doe, which we're about to go try to find. Try to find. Oh Jesus, there's a hole right here, guys. Sorry, Brian. So here he is. Finally got him, the number one buck on the hit list for me, at least. Uh, it's like kind of like a second chance buck because I missed him two days ago. He was at, I thought he was at 60 yards, had my set my pin for 60, and shot right over his back. He was only at 50. I went back up there and range find it at the next day. Sick to my stomach, thought about giving up, so I, I went out and I practiced for two hours the next day, got my bow all dialed in, and then passed up on a 10 point the next day. And then tonight I was out there, got out in the stand late. He's at a nephew's first birthday party. And it was getting, I passed up on that 10 point again. It's a nice 10 point, but it'll be a good deer in a year or two. And then he came in right before shooting light was over. It was about 7.30 and the shooting light was still 7.37 tonight. And I saw him come in, didn't have enough time to get all the camera set up good on him. Low light, I couldn't see the camera frame to get him on film. And then, uh, Took a shot, shot wasn't the greatest, but he only made it 40 yards, so I guess luck's better than skill. Tonight worked out for me, but here he is. Got him with the, the new Bowtech that I got from Sunrise. They hooked me up with all the best stuff up there, so here he is, I guess. Now on to the eight point.